We've had a number of requests to show how to strip down and then reassemble the Stets bar. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video using this demonstration stop tail Stets bar. But the mechanism is the same for all Stets bars. As we go through, we'll describe the parts as we come across them. Now, we only need two tools to do this job. The first is a crosshead screwdriver and the second is an Allen wrench or Allen key as would have been supplied in the original Stets bar kit. So let's start by taking off the arm. And then we will take off the bridge. Now the first thing we want to do is to make sure there's no tension in the system. So we're going to use the Allen wrench just to undo the tension adjusters at the back of the unit. And we can check that the bridge moves back and forward freely so we know we've done that. You may also have to undo the stop tail screws, which are the bigger screws at the back as well. Now we can take the transit screw out and lift up the leading edge of the bridge, removing it from the rest of the unit and taking the springs with us. Now you can see the two linear bearings sitting in their races on the base plate and this is the reason why the Stets bar is such a smooth operating system. We've got a locator block here, and we'll come back to that when we reassemble the system. And then at the back, we have the retainer block and the retainer bar, which we can now move out. And on the retainer bar, you've got the two larger outer stop screws and the two inner tension adjuster grub screws. So now we can reassemble the system. And as you can see, there aren't actually that many parts in it so it's a fairly straightforward job. Let's put the retainer bar back in, make sure that the uh, linear bearings are running easily in their traces and now let's put the bridge plate back on. Now at the rear of the bridge plate you'll see what we call the swing link and that swing link has two pins on the rear of it as you can see here and there and what we've got to make sure is that when we put the bridge plate back on, they sit into those cutouts in the locator block. So let's just, and that we've also got to make sure that the swing link is swinging easily. Let's drop that in and make sure it's seated and that it's moving easily backwards and forwards. That's good. So now we need to add the springs. The springs on one end fit into what we call the ears of the bridge plate and the circular part of the spring clips over the back of the retainer bar. There's one spring on each side, so we need to fit the other one. And if we take a look in close up, you can see how the springs sit. That's the spring sitting over the end of the retainer bar. So, not much left to do now. Let's just check again that there's free movement of the bridge plate. And now we're going to put the transit screw back. Screw it down. We want to make sure we don't screw it too far or such that it would stop the free movement of the bridge plate. So a good trick is always to basically just screw it down until you get some sort of resistance and then back off that screw by a turn and make sure that it's, again, that plate is free to move. Bridge goes back on and now all we've got to do is to put the arm back on and then get it strung up and set up. As you can see, a very simple exercise. 